No way, there's something not quite right about this scene. Let's go back to the beginning. One of the most feared topics in the United States and most of the civilized world is what do you do with your baby Ruth? You see, there's just nothing quite so terrifying as taking a swim in a pool and then you see a baby Ruth come floating by, you know? <laughs> so many people don't want to see their baby Ruth, right? Um, so, everybody's so accustomed to throwing theirs in the pool. So, <clears throat> you're doing your business and the leftovers, you've got to get rid of them. You know, the food's been good the first time, but sometimes, well, actually every time, it's got to go. And people are so very accustomed to out of sight, out of mind, flush it away, never even look back in the toilet. So, you take care of your business and you're done, and off it goes. Just like that, it's gone, problem solved, you never have to see it again, you never have to smell it again, and this is what everyone's accustomed to. The alternative, of course, is to crap in a bucket, to use a composting toilet system, to um, uh, use a latrine or an outhouse, but even a septic system ultimately pollutes groundwater. So what we want to do is show you an alternative. And this toilet is actually not a septic system. It's not a latrine. It's something that everyone's accustomed to. And you can get these low flush toilets that use as little as 0.8 gallons. And you can even use a urine diverting toilet so that there's no flushes uh, for urine and that can be going to your aquaponics system for example and it can be used to create fertility either for mulch or even for food. This is the business end of the toilet you just saw. This is a Verma composting flush toilet system and it's been in use continuously for over two years now. Now, it's amazing that no matter how much this has been used, it's never been filled up. It was designed for two people on continuous use. And this, this system has been absolutely trouble-free that entire time. Many people are very uh, appreciative of this system. You see that everything completely breaks down. Um, uh, we recently topped it up with a little bit of uh, straw and mulch, and the worms have gone down below the surface because it's not been used at all uh, for the last three weeks. But still, it just shows how simple this system is. Um, it obviously needs to be filled up some more. It needs uh, a, a little more uh, mulch in there to make everything as uh, healthy as it can be and to keep it full. But this is after almost uh, six months of use and everything breaks down so completely. Ultimately, uh, you know, there's some uh, baby wipes in here, they, they'll need a little more time to break down. But as you continue to feed this system, it continues to function uh, without odor, uh, without uh, polluting your groundwater, without any problem whatsoever. And it's this whole idea that of being responsible with our own waste and yet doing it in a way that makes sense to the modern person, the modern mind, meeting our expectations and even exceeding our expectations. Um, you see, this isn't a 500 gallon septic tank or even a 250 gallon septic tank. It's literally two and a half foot by two and a half foot by two and a half foot. And uh, when we do our workshops, uh, we have as many as uh, 10 people using this system. 
and yet it handles it in stride with no problems. I can't praise this system enough. It just works so well and so consistently that I see no reason whatsoever to ever do any different kind of system. This system is my absolute favorite by far and it produces a product ultimately uh, that'll be a black compost product, not something that you have to be afraid of, not something toxic. And the whole process happens outside of the building, away from the end user. And of course, I would only recommend a low flush toilet for these. Uh, a double flush toilet where you have an option for a separate lower reduced amount of water for urine is a great idea. And of course, the absolute best idea would be to use a system uh, that diverts your urine into an aquaponics type system for processing of the nitrogen uh, into carbon containing uh, mulch material or even food. And so if you enjoy learning how to be environmentally responsible as well as creating systems like this and getting the details of design of how to size it for the number of people in your house, how to calculate and design for the nitrogen loads and whatnot, um, Click the link below in the description because we do have workshops on these subjects as well as the Trilingual Rapid Build uh, Aircrete Tiny House Project, a project where we're going to start from the ground and go to a finished, ready to move in tiny house or cabin in just 14 days. We're also going to be covering this worm composting flush toilet system at that workshop. So click the link below in the description and find out more about that. Also, if you like this kind of content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, uh, so that you'll be notified when more content becomes available. Now, this is the downstream side of our flush uh, worm composting system. All the liquids are immediately and quickly removed to this uh, high density polyethylene liner. It's very tough, it's an eighth of an inch, and we have a lot of rocks in our soil. So we want to be sure that we don't get uh, any punctures in this. And all it is is a trough or container um, that's about 20 feet long, which is able to process out all of the nitrogen through the wood chips. And if you're in a more sunny location than this, you can place a great deal of uh, growing plants in here that like a lot of water, maybe even reeds, and they will continue to help clean up the water and remove the liquid. Uh, willow trees work great because you can remove 30 to 40 gallons of water every day during the summer, and that allows you to have a zero discharge system. Here you see where we have a system that uses uh, plants to actively absorb all of the nitrogen, actually putting that water to use. Um, this particular system uh, has not been finished to look great. Uh, the reason the plastic sticks up above the ground is because we don't want rainwater running across the hill to come down into this and then to wash out the liquid that's in this. We want it to stay uh, in the carbonous material. But um, generally speaking, it's a very rare event that all the water doesn't just simply stay in the wood chips and evaporate and then the wood chips continue to break down any remaining nitrogen and it becomes a biological composting system on the other end. This is basically the nitrogen processing end of an aquaponic system where the water is pumped into a media bed. In this case, it's just pea gravel and it forms a biological filter that will actually break down the ammonia into nitrites and then into nitrates, which is plant food. The plants then absorb all the extra nitrogen and put it into growth. And this is a great way to process your combined urine and gray water in a way that is often completely closed loop, no discharge whatsoever. And it's not difficult at all. It can be designed specifically for nitrogen loads. Uh, you can grow a variety of things in here, uh, if not edible, which honestly I don't have any problem 
with using sterile urine to grow food. Um, in this case, we grow just trees and there's a banana and there's a bunch of mint. Uh, we've also used willow trees and uh, a number of other plants, but you see this, this tree's gotten quite large in just a couple of years it's been in here. And this all represents carbon that's been stored through the energy of nitrogen, which is what the plants need to grow very well. You see, there's a lot of growth in this bed. And this, in this case, it's in a nine foot stock tank. And it works great as a biological filter. Um, there's actually a, a fruit tree in here as well. But it's important on these systems that they be highly oxygenated. And you want to achieve that by the circulation of water. In this case, we will actually circulate the water every three or four hours and allow it to exchange through the bed. As this system fills with water, it will actually push all of the old air out of the gravel, the media bed, and then when it shuts off after just a few minutes it will then drain the water all the way down pulling fresh oxygen throughout the entire root and gravel zone. You see we have a standpipe here and this standpipe sets the height, the maximum height of the water and so when the water gets above this point it just drains out. In a, And the standpipe is a pipe that has holes. Obviously, there's not a top on here, so we've got a few things plugging the holes. But this is what allows the water to drain down slowly um, all the way uh, to the bottom after the system is done pumping. And of course, it's advisable to have a pump timer because you want to not overfill this, especially when you have an oversized pump like we do. Now. This is the other end of the aquaponics system. In this case, because it's downhill, we have a lot of good slopes on our property. We're able to simply gravity feed the water from the grow bed back into our pond. Now, it's important, of course, to have minnows and uh, a few fish in the water to eat mosquito larvae so that your water doesn't become a source of pest. Uh, this system holds about uh, 1400 gallons of water and it never overflows except in the most severe of rains and when we test these with the tester um, there's just a little bit of nitrate in here and it's the perfect amount of plant food this water returning from the gravel has been biologically cleaned and filtered by the bacteria growing on the gravel and by the roots of the plants that are growing in the gravel so the water that returns on this end is very clean. Um, obviously it could be even cleaned up more for drinking, though not necessarily recommended. But this is an absolutely great way to process your urine and even the liquid waste from uh, your flush system if you wanted to. But um, in this case, it's only gray water and urine that would be diverted into this aquaponics type system because we have discovered through trial that the nitrogen from the urine of one person can produce all of the fertility necessary to grow the food for one person. So it's really pretty miraculous and marvelous how nature works. And learning to work with these cycles I think is very important moving forward and it's just the responsible thing to do. Click the link below in the description because we do have workshops on these subjects as well as the Trilingual Rapid Build uh, Aircrete Tiny House Project, a project where we're going to start from the ground and go to a finished, ready to move in tiny house or cabin in just 14 days. We're also going to be covering this worm composting flush toilet system at that workshop. So click the link below in the description, 
and find out more about that. Also, if you like this kind of content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell uh, so that you'll be notified when more content becomes available. And um, also, you can go to tinygiantlife.biz. Uh, we have an email list. If you subscribe there, uh, you'll get helpful informational emails with topics like this, as well as uh, new content, new special offers, special discounts. And uh, so yeah, thank you for listening.